What's going on guys? So we're we're gonna go to Brett's house, my buddy Brett. He has a 318 sick ass car. Um, we're, we have to go over there to, uh, he has a, a 413 E36 Vanos 2.5 computer, which I know is not the right one for mine. Well, here it is. True for the weather, it's starting to rain. I was trying to beat it, but um, I want again, I want to be better at this vlogging stuff. So, um, what I was saying? Oh yeah, so he has a Vanos uh, 2.5 E36 computer, which is not the one I need, or I think I need, because I, I've, I've done, I don't know if I've updated you guys, so I changed the fuel pump, I changed the fuel pressure right there. Uh, I've changed a few things, and I've checked compression and everything, and, and it just seems like it just doesn't have spark. I had another buddy of mine look at it, and he thinks it's the same thing. It's either the ECU or connection to the ECU, but I checked the pin out for the ECU, and it does work. Uh, like it's getting power so ultimately uh, in one of the forums uh, people were saying exactly that, that they were having same issues similar issues and they changed out the ECU and it fixed it so uh, in the same forums they also said you can try a 413 which is a, the Vanus one and it should turn on it'll run rough but it should turn on so we're going to my buddy's house uh, he has a one that he's not using so see if that one works because that, if that turns on then I can look for or, or use uh, one for mine and then I know that's the issue and then this car should be in theory running which will be awesome and then in this video um, he's gonna show me his 318 which I don't know what it is I do really 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 like the 318 um, also we got this thing uh, which I'm cleaning the car about and everything and hopefully that'll run because then we'll have some videos with that uh but in florida weather like i said it's raining i gotta clean up real quick put all the stuff away so nothing gets wet and then i'm gonna be on my way and we'll continue the video there side note a lot of people always ask like why did we move away from tampa one city city like city life sucks and two we live near the only places like there's only like two places that have elevation in like florida which is like uh like Claremont and then a little bit of we have a little bit of elevation where we live uh, uh, near like in between Ocala and Tampa um, and back roads I, I, I'll try to capture some stuff for you guys with this car like I know people hate on the BRZ but as a daily this car is one of the funnest cars I ever had because it feels like you're going fast you're not really going fast but you can be drive what is it you can drive a slow car 10 tenths of the time versus driving a fast car like you know you're driving at three out of ten We drove 30 minutes for this, um, so I'm, I don't know if he wants to be in camera, but I'm gonna show you his TI. So this is my buddy's TI, and has he's not done with the interior, but look goals look how clean this interior looks i don't know if the camera can show it but so he needs to get throw cards but then everything else is done um got chelsea Benofa's signature which is awesome i have it but i don't have it in my car i have it in, you know it's my man cave uh the motor is like a frankenstein like N52, 54 crank, and then whatever. I'm not good at that BMW stuff with the N50 intake. So, and basically stroked out to like a 330 basically. So it's really dope. It just did M3 front bumper, has to clean the headlights. Um, this car is awesome. Uh, he's inside taking care of his kids. So I don't want to show too much, but yeah, this thing is going to be cool. Hopefully we'll see it on the track soon. Um, I'm not gonna show him on the camera, but he's over there. But hopefully we'll see him on the track soon and um, this thing is gonna be a river. And my favorite part is definitely still his interior. 
like I'm amazed. Yeah, I already did, but I'm a, I'm amazed at what year is this car technically? 96. And this interior looks better than my BRZ's interior. I feel like once he gets the door cards or the aluminum panels that he's gonna paint black, it's just all gonna look amazing. But motor, explain the motor, cause so it's a M54 crank with M54 rods and M52 pistons. So it's, uh, with that, it's stroked out to a three liter. So it's sec technically like a S50 clone is what they call it. Um, but the it's a US spec S50 clone. So the European ones came with individual throttle bodies on all of the S50 motors. So that's the only difference between a normal like 28 M52 and that. And uh, S52 cams. Yeah, this thing is gonna be rad. I, we'll hopefully see him on the track soon. And then, like I said, we've said it before, we wanna do a private day soon. OSW is getting really crowded and the seat time is not as much as I want it to be. So I think the next thing is for us to get in a private day. So he's situating this thing out. He's gonna finish it. Um, and then hopefully we'll, we'll see him on the channel. We'll see these cars tandeming. And then maybe, just maybe, my BMW will be running <laughs> probably not. but yeah we'll go see if that ecu that he gave me is gonna work on mine it's... well guys i made it back home and um you know the video if you've seen this video already uh when i was heading out i was having a little fun through the back roads great right when i'm coming back <laughs> i'm just going with traffic you know now i don't know what fast i going but i saw the state troopers and i knew it was already over as soon as i saw him i looked down probably doing like five over the five ten over the speed limit then they gave me a ticket but uh the cop was really cool um he could have you know made it a lot worse he didn't um honestly i literally was just driving with traffic but uh it happens guys just be safe out there um tickets the nowadays are very very expensive uh but you guys don't care about that i just out here a little butt hurt that i got you know because i feel like that's that's exactly my karma or that's my luck right like when i am doing dumb stuff you know nothing happens when i'm actually just jamming listening to music or something like that that's when like i'm not paying attention and you know like for example i wasn't paying attention i was jamming to the music and driving and by the time i saw the cops and i looked down i knew that i was going a little bit fast but i wasn't like meaningful you know what i mean so that's more of a story. Sometimes when you're doing illegal stuff, you don't get caught. But then the karma comes back and bites you after when you're not doing illegal stuff. But anyways, guys, uh, ECU is here. It is a 14. Technically, this is the wrong ECU. It is for a 2.5, but it's for the Vanos one. And mines don't have no hump there, so it's not. It's a non-Vanos. So hopefully now we're going to plug this in. My ECU is already out. I don't know if you guys can see it. I just got to... Plug this in, plug the battery in, plug the coil back in, and then kick her on and see if she starts. All right, let me set you guys up and then get that done. Quickly before I put it on, right? So for the non vanals usually it's like a 402, 403, or 405. And then for the vanals I only know like the 413. I think there is a few other numbers. But other than that, they're both DME and they seem to be, you know, the same. Um, this one supposedly is a tune ECU, so it might even start even better because all the the security's been deleted from it anyway. So let's try it on. Old ECU is out, ECU is in, batteries connected, checklist, coil over, uh, coil pack. Come on, come on, there we go. <sighs> Doors. All right, moment of truth. I forgot, I gotta connect a fuel pump. Sounds the same. Let me try to put the clutch in.
Still sounds the same. Honestly, nothing. All right, I got. I'm gonna try one more thing. I'm gonna try to put some starter fluid. But I hear the fuel pump, so. See if that works. Which I don't, sadly. See, that's why I feel like it's, I don't know, it's something with fuel because. No start. But see it? I think I hopefully I caught it in camera, but I should have left the camera in the front. I don't know guys. Well, I guess for now, this is probably the end of the video. If you see this, obviously you made it to a video, uh, but this is the end of the video. Um, I've tried for the most part, the compression test on this new fuel pump. But this car doesn't have EW2 or whatever, which is a security system, which a lot of people have with these cars. So at this point, do I even want to buy it? Because I could buy the right ECU and see, but I just feel like there's something else. There's something else holding it from starting, and I just don't know what it is. So at this point, guys, if you watch, great. Thank you so much for watching. If not, uh, yeah, need help. Send help because I want to build I want to build this as a cheap drift car and it is an E36. I really like E36s but I don't have the time and money to continue messing with this, you know, unless I try to pay somebody to figure it out. So, but enough ranting. Thank you guys. Um